Hello everyone, welcome back to Ifechi family. Still on our Jackba relocation syndrome series. Today, what I want us to discuss or what I want to share with you is the fact that parents not working together or not agreeing on things, especially when it comes to children, raising of their children, can have a very big negative impact and effect on the family and on the child or the children. This one is a case of a young boy, a teenage boy. I heard something very similar recently, but that one was the child. The boy was the only child of the of that couple. Or this one, the boy is not the only child, but he is the only son. They have uh, two girls or three girls and then this boy. And, um, you know, Africans and boys, and especially the mom is always my boy, my son, my son, this and that. So his father or her husband has different opinion to the wife regarding upbringing of this child or of their children. Their mother is always trying to protect but that kind of protection is destruction because that's what happened on this case, in this occasion. So let me share what actually happened. This boy, a teenager, you know, I talked about knife crime here in the UK. And sometimes those children are in gang and, um, and sometimes as well, Older people who deal with drugs or illicit substances, they use these children for their deeds. Especially if they know that the child or the young person is naive, they don't um, know what's going on. They just look for people who are a bit vulnerable. They use them. So this boy was actually being used by these people, but his parents did not know. After some time, they noticed that their son started coming back late from school. He doesn't come back straight from school. They will ask questions. Oh, we are, we are asked to stay back. We are doing this. We are doing that in school. And, you know, all oh, our people, <laughs> like they like school, you know, education and all that. You're doing well in school. That's good. But if they're going to be staying back, you should know as parents. I remember when our children were, were in school, if they're not coming back when school finishes and they have to stay back for one reason or the other, we know, we have to, we, should, we must know. But obviously, sometimes parents are just so busy that either at work or they're doing one thing or the other and they don't even, they just believe whatever the child says. And these children can be so clever. If they notice that you are that kind of very busy parent, they take advantage of that. They know that you are so busy to even check or to even know, notice anything. So this particular child was being used by those older people to do their dirty uh, deeds. And then um, when he started coming back with those um, things, expensive stuff, phones, designer wears, designer shoes that they did not purchase for him. They, they would ask, they did ask questions. Oh, he said, oh, my friend, it's, it belongs to my friend, or my friend gave it to me, I'm going to give it back to them later. Which friend? You're only 14, 15? How can the friend be giving you? Who, who purchased it for the friends? You have to ask questions, you have to dig deep. You can't just take whatever they say. So parents will ask question, he will say, oh, is this one, is this that one, my friend, this person? And they did not dig deeper to find out these friends who are your age mates giving you these things as expensive. And it doesn't, it doesn't add up. Parents, come on, let's sit up. This does not add up at all. You cannot be too busy for your children. Because if you're too busy for them, later on in life, you are going to be too busy as well visiting them inside because this boy, as we talk now, he's inside. 
if you know what I mean by being inside. That's where he is at the moment in Young Offenders Institute. And when he gets a bit older, becomes an adult, he may go into the proper prison if he's still found guilty of whatever because there were various things that he was involved in. Police got involved they involved, and they have to come to the door to speak to the parents. So how they decided to deal with it in the first place was to send this boy back to Africa. Initially, the mother was like, oh no, I don't want him back there. But because the husband, the father of this boy said, look, we have very strong family back home. Let's take him home. When he gets to a certain age, or maybe when he's at uni, or even finish uni back home, then we can bring him. Reluctantly, the mother agreed because of the what was going on with the police. She agreed. They took him home. He went there, emotional blackmail, started phoning them, especially the, uh, his mom, because he knows that he can get through his mom easier than the father. Um, I'm going to pass away here. I'm not, look at me, I'm so skinny now. This is happening to me. This uncle is doing this. Grandma is doing that. Because they have their grandparents. So their grandparents will not treat their grandchild. If anything, they will even spoil him. But he's using all kinds of emotional blackmail. And the mother kept telling the dad, oh, well, I have to bring him, I have to bring my son back. My son, as if he's not um, your son. The teachers noticed that he has not been concentrating in class and he started lagging behind. He's always uh, disrupted, he's always on his phone. And they called the parents and said, look, your child, this is not the child that we used to know. What's going on? And they have to ask questions and he'll give them one excuse or the other and they will just let it go. Until he got into pro trouble, police came knocking on the door. They want to search the house because there's something that was going on. He was actually caught with something outside that he should not have because those people that do deal with their illicit substances you give, uh, uses them and gives them money and actually he had lots of money at home. Some of the money he keeps for those people, some of the things they give him, he was hiding them in his room. But the parents did not even know that these, these things were in their home until police came knocking on the door. They had a search warrant, so they had to come in to search the house. Lo and behold. Thank you.